In this video, we'll talk about mindful meditation and work. Mindful meditation is proven to help reduce stress and deal more effectively with change. And the office is a place where you'll find an abundance of both. Work is where you spend most of your time. If you're stressed out at work, this will affect you psychologically, physically, and impact other areas of your life. Work-related anxiety is known to cause headaches and insomnia. If it persists, it can cause high blood pressure, depression, and weaken your immune system. To add to the problem, many people suffering from work-related stress resort to unhealthy means of coping, such as smoking, binge eating, alcohol, and even abuse of those closest to them. The ability to control our responses to others is critical at the office. It's a bad idea to tell the boss off, and annoying your coworkers will only add more stress. When we're aware and in control of our emotions, we are more able to suppress improper, aggressive responses and reactions. When we're in a problem-solving environment such as work, it is crucial that our brain remains in an open, resilient mode instead of getting bogged down by negative thoughts and feelings. Dealing with daily change and pressures is a necessary skill for high-level performance and consistent inner calm. And mindful meditation can make work a challenge instead of an emotional hazard zone. The good news is that many companies are starting to embrace mindfulness and are organizing on-site meditation programs. If your company doesn't have a program, you can still engage in mindful meditation. Short breathing meditations can be done at a desk and can quickly shift your mind to problem-solving stance instead of panic mode. When work pressures become overwhelming, use mindful meditation to keep yourself in a calm zone. All kinds of ideas may be flowing through your mind. My report isn't good enough. The boss will fire me. Your mind is scattering into all kinds of areas except focusing on the report. As you take control and change those intruding thoughts, it will be easier to approach the problem in a more productive way. Tell yourself two reasons why the situation won't be as bad as it appears. Then give yourself two ways of dealing with a worst-case scenario. If the boss really does hate the report, what actions can you take to resolve the problem? Instead of merely reacting, you are proactively seeking solutions. A quick mindful meditation at your desk or away from your desk when necessary will have immediate soothing consequences. If possible, practice the happy place meditation described in this video course as it's excellent preparation for facing adversity. Instead of remaining overwhelmed by what the boss may do, you'll be more prepared to listen mindfully to what is being said and form a more reasoned response. Many of us don't listen carefully when we're upset. We're too busy preparing our reply. To really listen and hear what is being said, look into the speaker's eyes. Keep your mind focused on what is being said instead of thinking about how you will answer. It's all too common to talk without thinking and say things that we wish we could take back. Mindful listening improves how we communicate with others. You hear the words and the intent behind the words. When people notice that you are genuinely paying attention, they're far more likely to listen to what you have to say. More mindful actions you can take at work. Before leaving for work in the morning, tell yourself that you will remain calm and mindful. This will set the tone for the day before you leave the house. Become aware of how your thoughts add to your stress. Expecting things to go wrong will also set the tone for the day, although in a very negative way. Have lunch with a friend or eat alone instead of lunching with coworkers. Getting away from the office, whether physically or mentally, can relieve work-related anxiety. Take regular mindful breathing breaks. 